our tale of the tape. Romero Cotton, 3 and 0, 29 years old, three years younger than his opponent, Jason Parada. You can see that Jason Parada is much taller, much longer reach, but Parada is similar to Cotton. They both like the grappling game. The height and reach advantage, as John talked about, and once again, Michael C. Williams. From Windstar, World Casino and Resort, here at Bellator 233, we go now to the middleweight division, scheduled for three five-minute rounds, introducing the blue corner. At six foot four, weighing in 186.7 pounds, his professional record three and three, he fights out of Dallas, Texas, presenting Jason Parada. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner at five foot ten, weighing in 186 pounds, even as a professional. He's undefeated at three and oh, fighting out of San Jose, California, by way of Hutchinson, Kansas, introducing Romero Shonov Cotton. In charge, your referee, Kerry Hatley. This is Romero caught against Justin Reeser getting the rear naked choke. And then this fight against Willie Whitehead. Look at the knees. Too much for Willie Whitehead. Romero Cotton, big, strong, athletic, and a great wrestler. Ready? Ready? Let's go to work. Romero Cotton 3-0, all three fights inside the Bellator cage. Shown off in the red gloves. Jason Parada, whose longest fight has been three minutes and 57 seconds. Win or lose in the blue gloves. Six, four, Jason Prada against 5'10", Romero Cotton. Jason Prada, he trains out of the Rafael Lovato Brazilian Jiu Jitsu school, so you know on the ground, his submission game is very good. I've watched it compete. I've watched him in his fights. He is very technically proficient when the fight hits the ground. So the question is, does Romero Cotton want to take him to the ground, especially in the beginning of the fight when Jason and Romero are both dry? I would say keep it on your feet right now, get that sweat going, and then start using your, using your wrestling. And there he is, our middleweight champion, Rafael Lovato Jr. This is where Romero needs to be careful that he's still dry, and this is where submissions can fall into place and they stick. So he needs to be very careful with his arms, head placement, make sure that he squares himself up. All three wins have obviously been first round finishes for Parada. If his longest fight is three minutes and 57 seconds. Well, two of his losses actually came off of, he had two fights that he was, he got injured, stepping back, had an ankle problem, and so he lost those two fights off of injuries. The knee and the shoulder, right? Yeah. Romero Cotton out of AKA. Romero controlling that left underhook, bringing it up high, which is a good thing for him to do to keep Jason against the fence. Give him a glove. Stop, stop. The fuck? Hell no. Again, we have an injury to Jason Parada. And it's That's over. That's what occurred. Wow.
Ladies and gentlemen, with the blue quarter unable to continue due to injury, the verbal tap ends it officially two minutes, 16 seconds. Round number one, the winner by TKO, still undefeated, Romero Shonov Cotton. That's always not the way that you want to have your arm raised, but a victory nonetheless, 4-0 for Shonov Romero Cotton.